Welcome to Tips and Tricks video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a link to your text or button image. This way your customer is directed to purchase your product once they click on your link. This is helpful for those who are conducting a product launch and will have a specific sales page. Before we get started in adding links, we first need to install the add-on shortcodes list. So you'll need to go to the Tips and Tricks HQ site and go to this WPE Store Shortcodes and Functions Reference page. Click on Add-on Download Area and then click on the Extra eStore Shortcodes and download it. Come back to your WordPress site and now let's go to Plugins, Add New, and let's go ahead and upload the file. Install. Once a short codes list is installed, go ahead and go to WPE Store and take a note of the product ID you will be using for your sales page. In this example, we'll be using four or three. Now let's go to Pages. And here you will go to a landing page or product page that you've set up. And now we will create a text link. Go ahead and enter your text. Then highlight all the text that you'd like to create a link and then click on insert link. And then we'll type in our domain. And then we're going to copy and paste this code. It's slash question mark WP underscore eStore with a capital S underscore add underscore two underscore cart equals and then you would input the product ID. You can get this code from the members support area. We'll keep it at three. And now we have successfully created a text link that when clicked will lead your customer to the checkout page immediately. Okay, we'll click on update. Now we'll view page, and here's our landing page. And now we can click on the click here to order now text link. And once we click on that, we've successfully added the item to our cart. The benefit of having a direct text link or a link to your image is that you'll be able to post these links in your emails or Facebook pages or Twitter page. And so once they click on that link, it will automatically add the product to the shopping cart. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a link to a button image. Let's go ahead and remove this text here. And we'll go to add media. We've already upload, I've already uploaded a button here. And in this section, you can change the link to option to custom URL. Then you will plug in your domain here, plus copy and paste that code we added earlier. So that's slash question mark WP underscore eStore with a capital S underscore add underscore two underscore cart equals. And here we have three already filled in, but you can change that to your product ID. Click insert into page and there you go. Now we have a button that has the link attached to it. So let's click on update. Go to view page. And then again, here's your landing page. And now we see that button order now and we click on it. And now your product has been added again to the shopping cart. Now that you've learned how to add your link to your text or image in WordPress, you're ready to learn now how to add a link to your text and image through HTML coding. This is especially helpful if you have created your landing page or sales page outside of your WordPress installation, or you simply want to add a buy now text link or button in the widget area. So let's get started. For now, I'm using the editor in WordPress to show you how to code. 
However, you can use any HTML editor. First, I'm going to go to the text tab. And then I'm going to begin with the code. So we'll have the left arrow, A space href equals quote HTTP and then your domain forward slash question mark WP underscore E store with a capital S underscore add to cart equals product ID number end quote and the closing arrow We'll put click here to buy now. And then the left arrow again, slash A, and then the right arrow. And then we'll go ahead and click on visual, just so we can see how it looks like. And then click to publish. and view page. And once we click here to buy now, there we go. Now I'm going to show you how to add HTML code to a button image. First, you will need to get the URL of the image you'd like to use. In this case, I'm going to go to the media library, click on the button, and then I'm gonna get the URL of that button image. I'm going to copy it, then I'm going to switch to text, and now I'm going to start the image code. So first we're going to use the left arrow, img space src equals quote, and then I'm going to paste the URL of the image, put a quote, and then a slash and a right arrow. Now I'm going to copy the link code above and apply it to this button. So I'm going to copy it and then paste it before this image code. And then at the end, I'm going to add a left arrow slash A and the right arrow. Then click update. And now we'll switch back to the visual. And now we'll see our button created with HTML code. Now we'll click on view page and we'll click on order now. And there you go, you've created a button with HTML code that is linked to your product. In this next example, I'm going to show you how to use HTML coding to direct your text or button image straight to PayPal. This way, your customer bypasses the actual shopping cart. So to begin our coding, we will use the left arrow A space href equals your domain forward slash question mark, and this part's gonna change a bit. It'll be WP underscore eStore with a capital S underscore by underscore now equals, and then your product ID number, quote, and then the right arrow. Then we'll put text, buy now with PayPal. And then the left arrow, slash A, and then the right arrow. Now we'll click on visual, and there's a link to buy now with PayPal. We'll click on update, view page, and we'll click on this buy now with PayPal link. First, let's remove this from our cart. Buy now with PayPal. And now we're taken to our sandbox PayPal page. So this is just demo information. So you can see the link we just created takes you straight to the PayPal payment page. And this is ideal if you want your customer to bypass the shopping cart function. So we created the PayPal link for text. Now let's do the same for a button image. So now we'll copy and paste the button code. And just replace it. So now your button image is now linked.
Then we'll click on Update, View Page. And now here's our second button that is linked directly to PayPal. And now that button takes you straight to the PayPal page. Again, perfect if you have a landing page or sales page elsewhere. Now I'm gonna show you another example. Let's say if you're offering a subscription. So we'll just change this buy now to subscribe and I'm changing this in the button image and in the text link. I'll change some text. Click here to subscribe. And we'll remove this extra line here. And so again, we have our text link and button image link for your customer to subscribe. Click on update, click on view page. And again, it will take you to the payment page. You've learned how to install the add-on short codes list. You've learned how to create a text link and button image link that will have your customer add the product to the shopping cart. And also you've learned how to manually create these items using HTML code. In any case, you need to use it outside of your WordPress site, for example, on a separate HTML sales page. Thanks again for purchasing WP eStore. I'll see you in the next video.